Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Ty Stevenson. This is Paula, the Dudes Yoga. And today is day four of our little chakra challenge. I just decided to start. <laughs> and this is the heart chakra. We've moved through our physical chakras, the first three, the root, the sacral, and the solar plexus we did yesterday. Today we're at the middle meeting ground of the physical world and the spiritual world, the heart chakra, Anahata in Sanskrit. The element of this guy is air. The color is green. Um, the feelings of it is compassion, love, and adoration. Um, this may be off balance. If you're not really relating to many things, um, you have excessive jealousy, codependence on others. Uh, you may feel defensive or vic like always playing the victim mentality. Um, you may hold grudges, and you may also have respiratory problems. A lot of breathing and lungs are the circulatory system is associated with it. And so if you have heart problems, focusing on the heart chakra, opening up the chest, maybe pretty good. We're gonna do a lot of chest openers today. I wore my green shirt from boot camp in the Marine Corps at 17 over it was like 11 years ago now. I still have the same shirt. And uh, yeah, my only green one too, so we'll wear it today. Maybe I'll build a little sweat like this thing's been through. <laughs> And so to balance the heart chakra, you need to work on your breath work, pranayama. Uh, one of my favorite things to do. We'll do some at the end of this class for sure. Um, you need to practice self-love and care. Uh, you need to do things that you love, such as maybe art, homebrew, if you're like me, or cook food even. That can come as of anything, any creative outlet, any artistic outlet. Um, and practice forgiveness. Forgive others for the things they've done. Maybe you had a tough childhood, forgive your family for bringing you up like that. Um, the easiest way to do this is to just be grateful. Just be grateful to everything you have. Like, man, I have a roof over my head. We got a shelter. Like, I got flip flops from India. <laughs> we got stuff, you know? The symbol of this guy, the heart chakra, is a 12 petaled lotus with two intersecting triangles forming a six pointed star. Um, the seed mantra is something I didn't write down, of course. <laughs> and the crystals are pink quartz, clear quartz, and jade. And so we're gonna be doing some asanas right now. I'll get back to you on the seed mantra. But we're gonna be doing some asanas that's gonna open up our heart and start to dive into the spirit realm, as I say, for the top three chakras. But yeah, I think this is the most important chakra, if you ask me, as it we get the, it starts up here really, you get the thought from above, it doesn't come from nowhere, it comes from source. You get it from the crown chakra, it works through your third eye, and if you'll have a vision, oh, I need to do that. It goes through your third eye, then you speak it into the world with your throat chakra. And then it goes down to your heart chakra, and that's when you feel it start to come into the physical world, like this is becoming a reality. You start to work at it, build your craft, and then as you work here, you put energy into it with the solar plexus, and you fill it with emotion, as you continue to get creative with the sacral chakra and then it manifests into reality, building it into the physical world with the root chakra. Yeah, it might be too much for you, but good luck. <laughs> Anyways, we're gonna go ahead and do some asanas now. So, take a sip, take a breather, start to do whatever you need. Got some green mint in this guy and a whole bunch of women. Oops. <clears throat> okay. <sighs> a lot of heart, heart openers today. Cobra. <sighs> Maybe. We'll see what we want to do. Okay. With an inhale, we'll go ahead and start. Lift your hands up. Exhale all the way down. Your first forward hold of the day. <sighs> Stay in five breaths. Just lengthen out through the hamstrings. Just bring your forehead, your crown of your head to the ground. Do whatever you need. If you want to grab your opposite elbow, swing your arms around and go up to whatever you need. Before we take our next inhale, as we come up halfway. And exhale. All the way down, jump, step, walk it back, chaturanga. You guys' favorite. Inhale, up, Ooh. and exhale, downward facing dog. 
All right, inhale, right leg goes up, keep the hips straight, and then go to your nose, and hold it for five, four, three, two, one, step it forward, drop the back knee, drop the back ankle, horse rider pose on our right side, chest forward, gaze forward, open up through that front of the left hip, and exhale, push back, half your mid, make sure the toes are pointing up, keep a slight bend in the front leg, Go back in the right hamstring, three, two, one, go ahead and push forward, left hand on the ground, use the right hand to open up the hip, if you want, gaze up, gaze behind you, do whatever you like, it's a your yoga practice, exhale, push back, Aranga, upper plank, lower plank, upward dog, and downward dog. And on an inhale, lift your left leg up. And exhale, left leg nose for five, four, three, two, one. Go ahead and step forward, drop the back knee, drop the back foot. Chest forward, gaze forward. And one more breath. Exhale, push back, half pyramid, toes point up. Three, two, one. Exhale, push forward. Use your left hand, push against the knee, open up the left hip. Right hand is planted on the ground. Gaze back, gaze up for five, four, three, two, one. Exhale, push back. And the right foot back, chaturanga. And exhale. Good homeward facing dog. Now jump step, walk your feet all the way up. And go into the halfway lift right away. Exhale, all the way down, forward, forward. Inhale, all the way up. Hands go up above you. Exhale, hands down to your heart center. Really feel that heart center up today with the energy. Green, think of green air, green flow of wind. Next inhale, hands go up. And exhale. All the way down. Forward fold. Inhale, halfway away. And exhale. All the way down. Jump step, walk it back. Walk around now. And exhale. Downward facing dog. Now inhale, right leg goes up. Right leg goes forward. Touch your nose, hold it for five, four, three, two, one. Push your hands up, go into high lunge. Open up your feet, hips width distance apart. 90 degree angle, sit on those hips. And then raise your hands up above you. And exhale, go to the left. Take one breath here. Crack your back like this. Inhale, go. Exhale, go to the right. Exhale, come up. Now inhale, go back. And exhale, go all the way forward. Hands down, Chaturanga. Exhale, downward dog. On your next inhale, lift your left leg up. Bring it all the way to your nose. Hold it for five, four, three, two, one. Step forward. High lunge on the left side. Sit on your hips. Hands go up. 
Turn around on an exhale. Go to your left. Take one breath here. Come back. On an exhale, go to the right. Take one breath here. Exhale, come back. And last one, go back. Exhale, come forward. And down. Side around again. And exhale, go back into cat cow. I like to do this whenever I want. <laughs> but sometimes I'll feel a little kink in my back. And I'll just go into this because I know my body needs it. It's not about being right or wrong, it's about doing what you feel <laughs> in the moment. And if ever you want, you can take child's pose just like this. We'll hold that after a while. So anyways, push back up into downward dog if you were still not there. And go ahead and jump, step, walk your feet all the way up. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, all the way down. Inhale, all the way up. Exhale, hands down to your heart. Next one, inhale, hands go up. Go to your left. Inhale. Go up. Now go to your right. And come up and go back. And exhale, sit in the chair pose. Sit in the chair pose. I want you to do a breath of fire with me for 66 times. Ready, inhale, exhale halfway and begin. And exhale, good job, forward fold. <laughs> Have fun with it. Oh, hang on here, forward fold, take five breaths. It might have been hard for you, that might have been easy for you. But either way, we're here now, forward fold, four more breaths. Left a little bit, inhale, exhale, 
Center, and then go to the right. Take a breath. And exhale. And now we're gonna do a reverse warrior in warrior one. Left hand goes back to touch your left foot. Go back. And exhale. And down all the way, chatter on Actually, sorry, I wanna do a uh, humble warrior. So keep in that stance. Left arm grabs the right arm. Grab opposite elbows, go forward, chest leads away. For five, four, three, two, one. Push up strong. Good job, good chest opener. Hands go up, and hands go down. <laughs> Chaturanga. Chaturanga Dandasana. With distance apart, back ankle on the ground, back heel on the ground, 45 degree angle. If you can, <clears throat> hands go up. Now we'll go to the left. Take a breath. Come back. Inhale, go to the right. Now, reverse warrior and warrior one. Right hand touches the leg, then back slightly. And exhale, humble warrior. Right arm goes first, left arm goes second. Chest leads away. Five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, strong. Hands up. And exhale, hands out, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale, upward facing dog. Alright, good job. See so here for five breaths. Almost done. More than halfway done. <laughs> With the physical part. Maybe you like the meditation more. Maybe you like this part more. Who knows? I like it all. <laughs> and on the next inhale, we'll take. Uh, bend in our knees and jump the step. Lock it all the way up. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, all the way down. Find something new. Always do. Crack, crack, crack. On the next inhale. Come up. Hands, grab some energy from the sun. On the next inhale, go down to your heart center. Fill it up. Green or pink energy. Just. On the next inhale, grab some energy from the ground, bring it up to the sun. And exhale, bring it all the way down. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, jump, step, walk it back. Chaturanga. Low plank. Up dog and down dog. On an inhale, pick the right leg up, keep the hips square. Exhale, knee to nose, hold it for five, four, three, two, one step forward into warrior one. Heel, your front heel to your back arc of your foot. Back foot should be 90 degrees. Hips should be open, back like there's a wall right here. When you're ready, sit down on your hips. And as far as go out and go forward a little bit, and then reverse your water. <sighs> Exhale, elbow to knee, chest forward, your left hand goes up, one breath. <sighs> Exhale, reverse your water. So go forward, hand to the ground, left arm goes up, push your hips forward, 
And exhale, last one, reverse your warrior. And exhale, do the same thing up here or take the bind. Thank you. Five, four, three, two, one. Now come out, straighten the front leg. Right hand goes up and back. And exhale, come forward, Shrikhanasana. Push your hips forward, fingertips on the shin or all the way down. Push those hips forward, chest open, left hand up. Three, two, one. Inhale, come back into one or two, one last time. Be strong. And exhale, all the way down. Chaturanga, upper plank, lower plank. Upward dog, downward dog. Inhale, left leg goes up, hips straight. Exhale, knee to nose, hold it. Five, four, three, two, one. Step forward, warrior two on your left. Back foot goes down, heel, front heel to back arc. 90 degree angle with the foot. Push your hips forward. Sit down when you're ready. Hands go out. And go forward a little bit and then reverse your order. <sighs> Exhale. Right or left elbow touches the left knee. Right hand goes up. Push your hips forward. Gaze up. <sighs> Exhale. Reverse your order. Find something new. <sighs> Exhale. Hand goes all the way down. Open up through the chest, through the hips. Last one, reverse the order. And exhale, do the same thing, or take the bind. Whatever you guys left. Five, four, three, two, one. Exhale, straighten that leg. Straighten that leg, left hand goes back. Exhale, trigger on the left side. Push through the hips, open up through the chest. All the way straight down, feel the stretch in your right side body. If you want, take that right arm over your head. Five, four, three, two, one. Exhale, go back into warrior two, one last time. Be strong, and exhale, all the way down. Chaturanga. And on an inhale, jump, step, hop your feet all the way up. And inhale, halfway lift. Find something new. Exhale all the way down. And next inhale, all the way up. Hands go up. Grab some energy from the sun. Exhale. And so hard center. Next inhale, grab some energy from the ground, and then you'll exhale all the way down, forward fold. Inhale, halfway left. Exhale, all the way down, jump a step, hop your feet, chaturanga. Inhale, upper facing dog. Exhale. Downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg goes up. Exhale, knee to nose. Five, four, three, two, one. Exhale, go halfway. Pyramid, sorry, pyramid. Halfway. Straight leg, keep a slight bit on the knee. Just feel it right in the back of your right hand. Three, two, one, exhale, go forward, but all the way. Lift that back leg up into warrior three. Lift those hands up. Be strong. Three, two, 
Pull it and exhale, come forward. Inhale, left leg goes up. Cross it over, seated figure four. Three, two, one. Inhale, come up. Push that back leg, open up. The ball, half moon. Very difficult. Three, two, one. Come out of it, come out of it. Grab your big toes. If you fall, that's okay. Me too. Straighten that leg. Three, two, one. Exhale, last one. Tree pose. Up to your crotch. Whoa. center filling it with pink or green light you are the wind good job five rounds let's see what you did now we're gonna turn to open up wide legged on the fourth front of the mat and we're gonna do wide legged forward fold feet should be 90 degrees <laughs> and then when you're getting ready put your hands on the hips go forward Try to touch this crown of your head to the ground. If this is too far, stay here if you can. Keep going. Keep going if you want. You grab your toes over here. You can put your hands under your feet. You can just grab them. Careful with your head crown, but it's ground. If you can touch the crown to the ground, you're pretty good. You're getting pretty close. <sighs> Almost. Five, four, three, 
two, one, inhale, hands to the waist, come all the way up. Good job. Nice hip flexors. Inhale, star. And exhale, turn your right foot open. And you'll just push those hips like so. Actually go forward into shaking off some triangle pose again. Open up that side body. This time put your hands forward or out in front of you. Three, two, one. Exhale. Come up. Let's balance. Good job. Now we'll just go to the other side. Turn that foot in. Turn the other foot out. Left hand goes down this time. Right hand goes up. Right hand goes over. Find something new. Maintain that balance. Three, two, one, exhale, come up strong. Oh, oh, ah. Turn that back foot into 90 degrees. Hands at your hips, actually. Hands behind your back, and release your hands. And we're gonna go into forward fold, and I want you to try to bring your hands all the way over your head. So inhale, and exhale, all the way down. Try to bring your chest as open as possible. Your hands should be fighting against each other. Shoulder muscles should be working. Try to get the crown to the ground. The crown to the ground. So five, four, three, two, one. Exhale, release your hands. Inhale, hands at your waist. Come all the way up. Get flexor power. Whee! Inhale, star, and exhale. Turn your heels in a little bit. Bring your feet in together a little bit if you need and go into goddess pose. Good job, I like this one. <laughs> you can hold the mudra. I think holding the last two fingers, the ring and the pinky are the best for this crown chakra. I mean, sorry, for the heart chakra, I don't know how that. We got 15 more seconds. Breath of fire, ready? Child's pose if you want. Hands. You go behind you. You can grab your toes, grab whatever. For me, it works best if I try to fingertip my way all the way. Roll the shoulders up and back and try to pull with your fingertips. Good job. You come out of it. Go into some cat cows. So we're gonna inhale, hook up, and exhale, release. Chest forward, third eye forward. Five, four, three, 
two, and then one. And then count down, release. Ah, oh, good. We're gonna turn it over and do some happy babies to roll out the spine. Grab your feet. Oh. Rock and roll. And when you're ready, you're gonna just release down. And we're gonna go into wheel pose. So, if you guys know what that is, it's a back bend. If you guys don't have good backs, I wouldn't really recommend doing too much. Or if you're weak in the upper body, it might be difficult too. But it's what you can do. It took forever. I recommend always work on the triceps to be able to do these do lots of push-ups. With an inhale, you plant your feet as close to your butt as you can, or pretty much. Your hands go back, fingertips pointing down to your butt. And on an inhale, you will go up. And then we'll stay here for five, four, three, two, and one, release. Slowly, yeah, slowly release, good job. Good job. Some of you are like, what the fuck? <laughs> she did it. Yeah. <laughs> Do a couple more of these if you want. This is always good. Even her out on the back. And we got two more positions. We're gonna do shoulder stand and then into plow after that. So watch as I do shoulder stand. You know, lift your feet up, use your elbows, and grab your hips. And with your abs, a lot of ab power, you'll keep those legs straight. You'll try to be as straight as possible. Put those toes up for five, four, three, two, and one. Release all the way down with balance backwards into plow pose. If you can, touch the ground. If you're really cool, you can bring your knees to clamp your ears basically Ugh. be careful on the neck Whew. five four and on the exhale softly release softly release yeah do some more rock and rolls if you like oh. So now we're gonna do a couple more things. Open up your feet, hips are all the way wide. We're gonna come into some side stretching. So with an inhale, chest goes up. And then exhale, chest goes forward. Try to get your forearms to the ground if you can. If you're just right here, that's okay. It's a pretty intense stretch on the front of your hips and thighs. <clears throat> so exhale, chest goes down, try not to bend your back as much as possible. Feel the stretch in the legs, not the stretch in the back. Five. Four. to the inside of our left thigh. Try to get that elbow to the ground as much as possible. With the right hand, you reach over your right ear. Feel the stretch on her right side body. <laughs> She's good. I just love her. She's loving. Open up the side body on the right side. Using a mantra. Phrase. Ah. Three, two, I am one. Exhale, release. And inhale, come up. And exhale, go to the right elbow. Right elbow goes down to the end of the thigh. Just thigh. Open up through the ear, open up through the chest. Feel the stretch in the left side body. Stretching. Five, four, three, two, through the chest. And one exhale. Slowly come up. 
This is exactly where you should be very, very careful with your lower back. You should be very flexing all your muscles in your legs to restrain you from falling all the way back. Be right here if you have to. If you can, reach down. Grab your feet if you need to bring the feet up. Grab the heels. Open up through the chest. Five, four, three, two. One. Release gently. Oh, difficult one. Good job, guys. Exhale all the way down. Yeah, good job. To child's pose. Just about done. Oh, find some new cracks. Oh, yeah. Always a deep breath. <clears throat> Hmm, and when you're ready, come out of it. Come out of it. Good job. You can sit back on your heels if you like. If that's comfortable for you. A lot of people it is. For me, I barely am able to touch my heels to my butt as of like this year. <laughs> still coming a long way. It's still very difficult. We'll get there. So, if you're ready, go ahead and sit on the ground and give the doggy some nose. You be the only show now. He's gonna play, huh? Mm -hmm. Take a drink if you like. We're pretty much finished. We're gonna finish with the mantras. And then we're gonna do some pranayama. And then we're gonna do some meditation. And then we'll finish with maybe a minute or so of silent meditation. Catch back up tomorrow as we move into the spirit realm through our throat chakra. Blue. Oh shoot, we didn't get the crystals. Not our friends. Oh, oh they're all charging. They're charging today. That's good. We'll let them charge in the sun. Anyways, go ahead and cross your legs. Good job. Made it through another class. Now it's day four, over halfway there now. I recommend if you guys like it to please share, like, subscribe, do whatever you need. And do whatever you need right here, right now. Move, get that spine realigned, as we're gonna be ready to sit here for at least 15 minutes. Not that much every time, but it'll do that much effort in your world and your and better than in life. Oh. <sighs> okay. What is the... Yeah, that's right. We got it. Get to play some tunes. Mm -hmm. Nice. Okay. <clears throat> so, we're bridging the gap in the spirit world and the physical world. It only makes sense that we do a little bit of everything, so it's, it's well balanced. It's our balancing chakra. It balances who we are with everything. <sighs> so, we're going to go ahead and finish with the peace mantra and the closing astanga mantra. And then we'll do pranayama. We'll do, um, we'll do the piercing the moon exercise since we don't have our crystals with us so we can use our hands. So with your note, with your right hand, you're gonna go on the right nose and with your pinky finger, you'll go on the other side. So you go six seconds in, or sorry, four seconds in. Then you're gonna hold it. You're gonna hold it for six, for sorry, for eight seconds. 
and then you're gonna switch hands and release on the other side for six seconds. So breathe in four, hold it for eight, release for six. And you always switch sides. You'll get it when we get there. So one more step here. Switch. Exhale for six. Inhale four. Eight seconds while we switch hands. And exhale for six.
times. 33 times. By the end of it, you'll feel pretty high. Maybe your pineal gland and bad inside your third eye might activate some DMT. Yeah. <laughs> and then, okay, no more, no more. With an inhale, we'll take a deep breath.
practice that we just did, please like it, share it if you want, even if you can't, why not? Um, if you want to see some other videos, the sacral chakra, the root chakra, and the solar plexus chakra are up online, and soon we'll be doing the next spirit chakras we do. Um, once again, my name is Ty Stevenson, Paula, the dude's yoga is what we're calling it. And I hope you enjoy it and I hope to see you tomorrow. Namaste. No